Let's get it. Hop off a 16 passenger. This a G5. No, this not a challenger. Big one. I keep some members with me in the fridge. Get coat seats. They some cannibals. Eat us. They like the geek geek. Drink a whole bottle. Wake up and repeat. Damn. She took a look. Mixed it with the chill out. Now she says. Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to another video. You see who we're talking about today. And I just had to start out with this here. Now, the uh, conversation that they had during this video did have to do with uh, their life and what they show as their life. Now, this is my thing. If you don't want to talk about this, why do you keep talking about this? If you don't want to show it, why keep showing it? I mean, let the subject or let the situation die. If you did and you don't want to tell, or if you didn't and you don't want to tell, shut the hell up. It is true that if you have a channel here on any social platform, it is up to you what you decide to make your content. But the thing is, you didn't have any problem making money off of this situation yet. You consistently continue to bring it up. If you don't want to talk about it, don't talk about it. The thing is, what they are really doing here is strategizing. All of their content is strategized for YouTube. I guess that's the job. So, I mean, I guess at this point, we either watch or we don't. But the thing is, what they do is when they see that their views are getting low, um, they lost a lot of favor by being dishonest with their crowd. So they get nervous and then they look for something that they know will cause a reaction and they start talking about this third set of twins again. Now, there is something else that I saw online that was absolutely hilarious. Um, it's not necessarily directly related to this, but is kind of related so i'm gonna show you that real quick and then i'm going to come back with the for the haters i'm gonna go ahead and tell you be prepared because we gonna fake another pregnancy and i don't care if you can't see my neck i don't give a fuck my hubby is not gay he had five boys who the fuck is gay have boys D guys that was funny now addressing some of the things that were said first of all his sexuality is none of my business, um, so that's not something I'm going to address here. Um, they are a family channel who brought their life to the forefront, so that's what I choose to talk about. Um, what he does in the privacy of what he's not showing on here, although he shows a lot, he's not showing that in my opinion, so I'm not going to address that. Secondly, um, someone asked in my comments once, does... Do they need to be turned over to Family and Children's Services or some kind of children advocacy program uh, for intervention? Now, this is my thing. The truth is we see a lot and we assume a lot. OK, we don't see actual proof that the kids are being neglected. We don't see actual proof. I mean, we could talk about a lot of things. We could talk about the sleeping on the floor. We could talk about all type of things that it seems like they're in the room all the time. All of that. But the truth is this. Those kids could actually just have uh, developmental issues and they could be fine. I mean, we don't know for sure. We do know that they need speech. We do know that they need all of these things just from what we see. But the fact is, they could actually be getting that. So me personally, would I go so far as to try to report them? Not unless I saw something with my own eyes, non-disputed, that I thought was a danger to those children, to them, or to all of, or to both parent and child. So me personally, I wouldn't intervene unless I knew for a fact. The fact is that we're giving commentary based on the things that we see, but we see a snippet of their life. It's a lot that we don't see. So I wouldn't, me personally, I wouldn't go that far. Now, do I think there's something wrong with these folks? Do I think they're hypocrites? Do I think that they are using God's name in vain? Do I think that they are not the best parents? Sure. I do. Honestly, I do. But do I know this for a fact? No, I don't. And guys, for me, until the point that I know for sure, I would not intervene. Now, back to the point of this video period, point blank. If these guys don't want us to talk about something, they shouldn't talk about it. Stop bringing up to us what you don't want to talk about. It's stupid to say, did we have a third set of twins? Well, we don't have to tell y'all everything. Okay, so then shut the hell up. And I'm not saying it to be rude. I'm just saying it to be actual. Like people are actually tired of hearing about it because you're not talking about it.
If you don't want to talk about it, then don't talk about it. But then don't uh, uh, bait people with titles that you know that you don't plan to discuss. Don't sit up here and say that you're good parents and your children are behaved uh, amazingly when you know it's a lie and we can easily prove you to be wrong. So then when you get the negative back push, you guys think that you have the ability to go and change the narrative on what other people say. You cannot. So if you don't want us to talk about it, you don't talk about it. If you don't want it to be our business, don't bring it to the forefront anyway. But I do believe what that little joke thing said. Y'all going to be telling more lies. I think the new lie for 2023 is going to be this house debacle. All of a sudden, your house is so bad. and Now you got to move. I thought you bought the damn house. So who the hell is you calling to come fix some shit you own? Makes no sense to me. I'm, I'm going to say it again. And I have already said it before. Y'all, you ain't got a lot of kick it. You taking what looks like a fake picture and putting it up here. This could actually be someone's house. And according to this person who commented here, apparently this is someone's home who actually went through this and you're taking their picture and using it uh, as a joke here. It's shameful. Guys, tell me what you think about this. Um, we will talk in the comments below. And as always, I appreciate you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye. I bought for 16 passenger. This a G5. No, this not a challenger. Big one. I keep some members with me in the fridge. The coat seats. They some cannibals. Eat us. They like the geek geek. Drink a whole bottle. Wake up and repeat. Damn. She took a look. Mixed it with the chill out. Now she say she's saying 3D. Wow. I go in the jungle and they got a coat. I bet I come out with a meme. I bet I do this shit for the fam. Cause this shit